Good morning, good evening, and once again, hello world. It is I, Indigo Ali, here to give you another video. This one concerning the Mandela Effect and specifically my experiences in dealing with the Mandela Effect and the different types of people I've encountered while explaining or trying to get across the Mandela Effect. Now, of course, if you go around starting spouting things about the Mandela Effect and how songs, logos, movies, constellations, Bible verses, new scars popping up, or even in some cases the dead living again as though they never died, people start looking at you crazy or wanting to get you committed to the some type of mental institution, or at least try to help get you there, you know what I mean? Because people don't want to believe in this, people don't understand this the theory of simulation or um, parallel universes or any of this they don't understand that if you go outside of your house and you make a left turn you'll see something different than when you make a right turn but if your destination is Chick-fil-A you'll still get there that's the middle that's the middle you see the left the right and here's the middle same destination same person <laughs> you know so people need to understand this and find easier ways to help people cope with this and wrap their minds around it. It's really not that hard. But it is the great deception, folks, and we need to be aware pay attention. So without further ado, let me jump right into the video because I know what error it is and I know people like to, to jump off the video real quick. So here we go. It was about three weeks ago, folks, and I had two lifelong buddies of mine over here, two friends that I, I've had for as long as I can remember. And I've also had, and my wife was also here. So it was my two lifelong friends and my wife. And we're sitting here and we got on the subject of the Mandela effect and how none of us could remember the scarecrow and the Wizard of Oz having a gun. Neither could we, we remember there being the A in the Bernstein Bears. I've never heard it pronounced Bernstein Bears till I got older, of course. And in this reality, there is an A in here. And I'm not knocking anyone for their. In their reality, they're always being an A in there. I'm not doing that because in this reality, that's how it is, but not in mine. In mine, it's always been an E, Bernstein Bears. Okay, so naturally, when people agree with you um, on this subject, particularly this subject, you want to see how far you can go until your memories differentiate. So... I wanted to know about Jiffy Peanut Butter. I wanted to know if anybody else in the room had had Jiffy Peanut Butter at the time. And so I said, what about Jiffy Peanut Butter, J-I-F-F-Y? And they were like, no, you mean Skippy Peanut Butter? And I'm like, I never heard of Skippy Peanut Butter at the time. Never heard of it. I said, no, I know what I ate. I ate Jiffy Peanut Butter. You ever heard of Jiffy Peanut Butter? And they're like, no, Jiffy Cornbread? They're all saying it now. Jiffy Cornbread? And I'm like, no, Jiffy Peanut Butter. They're like, no, you mean Skippy. Jiff has always been J-I-F, never Jiffy. And I'm like, stop trying to pick my brain. I've eaten Jiffy Peanut Butter. That's all my mother used to buy when I was little. Jiffy Peanut Butter. And if you watch my other videos, you know my mother used to buy Jiffy Peanut Butter. That's all I know is Jiffy Peanut Butter. I don't know Jiff Peanut Butter. I mean, I bought Jiff recently. And I'm thinking, uh, okay, maybe it's a, a brand switch. You know how they, they edit the name and the logo and that sort of nature. So I'm thinking it's normal at first. But I want to know if they've ever had it previously to when in my brain they changed it. Okay, so they're, you know, ha beating me up about it. Like, I've never had Jiffy Peanut Butter. And they're determined to get me to say, no, I've never had Jiffy Peanut Butter. I've only had Skippy or Jiff. You know, trying to change my mind. No, that's that's not going to happen. I've had Jiffy Peanut Butter, and I know I've had Jiffy Peanut Butter. So once we let the subject go, you know, the next day I end up going to my mother's house. And I'm like, Mom, uh, you remember buying Jiffy Peanut Butter, right? She said, yeah, we used to buy Jiffy Peanut Butter. I'm like, you know it's not Jiffy Peanut Butter, and they'll tell you that it never existed. It's always been Jiff. And she started laughing. You know, and it's crazy because my mom doesn't understand... Uh, so much science, you know, the simulation theory and all that stuff you have, you know what I mean? And But she definitely understood this Mandela effect. For her, Mandela died in 2013. For me, he died in the 80s. You see, so it, it's very conflicting to hold your tongue when you have a spouse or a family member 
um, you know, a significant other that's sitting in the house with you and they, they're they experiencing something or remember something different than what you do. But you vividly both remember the same experience or, you know, the same brand in different ways. Like Chick-fil-A. I've never seen a K in Chick-fil-A. That's always been C-H-I-C hyphen F-I-L hyphen A. It's never been C-H-I-C-K. Never. Not in my timeline. In yours, maybe. I'm not discrediting that. But in my timeline, no. Uh, and it's pretty strange because now I'm in the timeline where there is a K. And Home Depot is no longer just Home Depot. It's the Home Depot. You know, but I've never seen them. It's right up the street from my house. I've never seen them put up the D sign. I've never seen them doing construction to do that. You know, and it's literally right uh, up the road from my house. You know, um, some other things that I've experienced, you guys, um, that are a little bit stranger than this and doesn't really in, um, involve people. Is one morning I woke up. I was still in high school, um, and there was a scar on my leg. Well, it wasn't a scar at the time. Now it's a scar. It's been there, and I'm guessing it's going to be there for the rest of my life. Um, there was a burn, like a big boil. You know, um, once you burn yourself, it, it, it comes to a boil or to a, um, a blister. There was a big blister on my thigh, and it was oddly shaped. I'm like, where did this come from? I didn't smoke at the time. No reason for me to have a lighter. And even if I did have a lighter in my bed or a candle or something flaming, I would definitely know there would be a singe on my bed at the time. There would be, uh, you know, I would be, t I would have woke up like, oh my goodness, I'm on fire, you know. But I never, ever, ever found out where this this mark came from. Till this day, I'm not sure about where this mark came from. I have a scar on my thigh that's oddly shaped. It it looks like a shrimp. It's on my thigh. It looks like a shrimp. And I'm like, okay, where did this come from? And to this day, I still can't figure it out, you guys. That is the Mandela effect. That is the Mandela effect. Oh, by the way, Febreze has one E. Or should I say two? But not where you think they are. Go look it up, you guys. Have a great time figuring out this Mandela effect. Enjoy the ride of the Great Deception.